Amani channel with videochefs.com here and you may be wondering how in the heck do I screen record my iPhone let's say you want to actually record the movements of your iPhone you want to demonstrate an app how to do something using your mobile device I'm gonna have the answer in this recipe <laughs> All right, now I will say that I'm an iPhone an Apple user, and so this may work with Android devices. I'm not really sure, all right? But I'm going to teach you how to screen record your iPhone, iPad movements. Now, there's a couple ways of doing that. I've seen people who actually just use a camera to record their um, device as they're moving their hands across, swiping, open app, opening apps, etc. But there's actually some software that you can use. Um, they will actually do this and it will be a little bit cleaner in terms of how your production is. All right, so the, the software that I usually use, you can actually do it using QuickTime, um, but I use ScreenFlow and uh, you can do this in the latest version of ScreenFlow, I believe ScreenFlow, ScreenFlow 5 or higher. All right, now this is ScreenFlow. This is actually ScreenFlow, I believe it's ScreenFlow 5, but you can do this with any version of ScreenFlow version 5 or higher I don't know about ScreenFlow 4 which I used to use but I don't use it anymore all right so the first thing you want to do is to connect your phone or your tablet your iPhone or your iPad to your computer using the USB and a lightning port all right so once you have your iPhone connected to your computer via USB then you can connect uh, and you have ScreenFlow open so you can see this is ScreenFlow it's actually screen record software you can make videos with it but you can also like um, record slides and, and do whole courses around it. So this is just an example of one of the courses that I created. All right, but then if you go to this little icon here, this actually allows you to adjust some of the parameters. So go to configure recording, all right? And then it will give you some settings here. So if you wanna record from your webcam, you just make sure this is clicked on or off. Um, and then if you wanna record your screen from your iPhone, just click there. You can record your, your desktop for your computer. You record audio. Um, you can configure that right there, toggle it on or off. And then you can also record your computer audio. So let's say that if you have like, um, uh, there's something on the computer that you want to record, like audio coming from something, you can record computer audio. All right, so these are just the settings. And there's also some other things here, but I'm just worried about new recording here. All right, so we're gonna make sure our screen is toggled on for recording the iPhone. We wanna use the HD uh, Pro webcam. This is the Logitech C920. And you can adjust some of the format here if you want to, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm using my Rode NT-USB microphone, which is capturing the audio. And I can have it set to comp record computer audio. We can adjust that always in post, all right? So once you have that configured, you're ready to record. All right, so um, I'm not going to record my video for this particular tutorial, so I'm gonna click off there. So we're gonna record the desktop, and we don't really need to record the iMac desktop either, so I'll go ahead and toggle that off. All right, so now that we're ready to go, uh, I'll say a few things. You're not gonna see your computer screen or your, you're not gonna see your um, mobile device on the screen of your computer when you're recording, all right? So you just have to trust that it's recording. And so you wanna have your phone unlocked, and then go ahead, record, and now I'm going to give you an example here. So ScreenFlow is going to give you a little countdown, which will let you know that it's time to record or you're good to record. And so now we're looking at the desktop of my iPhone. So once you're done, just hit stop record. And then it's going to say you're recording completely successfully. You now have the option to create a new document or open in one of the existing documents. I have a few others open, as you can see. I'm just going to go create a new document. All right, and there is my screen recording. So a few things now you will see that this is like not the correct aspect ratio for a like it's not 16 by 9. So I'm going to show you what I do now to create my screencast using my phone using ScreenFlow. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. I'll just copy this. I'll just copy everything that's in this document here. I can bring this up here. So I'll just kick command C and then I'll go to file new we'll go new document and it's going to ask for the aspect ratio I'm going to make this 1920 by 1080 which is full HD uh, 1080 you can also there's some other presets you can use I can do web or whatever I'll just leave it as it is and then click on that now it's going to open a new project now you can see this now is the correct aspect ratio for widescreen and then I'll go ahead and command V I'll paste that into there you'll see this is a little bit um, larger and that's not a problem what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna copy this layer here all right and i'm going to bring it under 
here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the size of this background layer and I'm going to leave it on here so that you can sort of see what happens as I do this. All right. So I'm going to increase this layer. I'm going to go here because this is what we use to adjust the video here. You can see there's a scale um, slider here. I'm going to scale this up to about 287. Now this looks a little bit funny here, but just stay with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to video filters. All right. I'm going to go to blur. Gaussian blur and I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and I'm going to increase the radius and you can do whatever you want to do I mean I'm just using 75 but I can do 50 or, or something less you can use the slider as well so you can just that'll be fine all right, now I'm going to go to this other layer, which says iPhone here, and that's the, this layer. I'm going to bring this down to 66. Probably 66.7 to be exact, I would think. Nope, too small. It's actually bigger than that. It should be about, sorry about that. Let's try 80%. Perfect. All right. So there we have it. And and then I'm just going to play a little portion of it so you'll see how it looks. And then that will be it. All right. So now we're looking at the desktop of my iPhone. I'm just going to go over some of the um, mobile apps that I like to use for photo editing or for creating Instagram photos. So one of my favorite applications is called Snapseed, all right? It's a great photo editor, so I'll just demonstrate it to you. Um, this is just a, this is actually a picture that I, I snatched off of Instagram. I, I, I screenshotted someone's Instagram, and then I'll go into to this app, and then I'll edit it, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and edit this uh, this photo here. So here are a couple examples. So this is the, the raw photo here, and I'm going to go ahead and do some editing. So this is my son after he uh, graduated to the next level of swimming. So so it really is that simple if you like to record the screen of your iPhone or iPad using ScreenFlow. It's really simple to just connect your iPhone, configure it, and then record. Of course, you want to create a background image or blur it or whatever like I did. You can, but you are free just to upload the video as it is. I just do that because I like my videos to look 16 by 9 regardless of what I'm doing. All right, now there are some other options if you'd like to record a screencast. You can use QuickTime Player. Uh, you need the pro version of QuickTime. I think there might be a cost to it, though. It came on my iMac for free. And there's a program made by, called Reflector made by Air Squirrels, which also allows you to mirror your iPhone on your computer's desktop. And then you still need to use screen recording software, at least when I use it. That's how I did it to record uh, the screen of your computer. All right. Just a couple of options for you. But if you just want to keep it simple, uh, ScreenFlow is 99 bucks. It works awesome. It makes it really simple. You can create beautiful screencasts for iPhone or iPad. Don't know if it works for Android, though. All right, if this was helpful, like or thumbs up this video. Or I guess like this video, thumbs up this video is the same thing. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Come back and see us again. You can always check out webvideochefs.com. Amani channel. Peace. <laughs>